Hey you guys, Kimberly here. I wanted to do a very brief video about this wonderful crafting tool. It's a craft syringe, has a blunt tip. Nobody's going to get injured. And I've only discovered the use of this tool supply in, in the last year. And then when I went to go to YouTube to look for ways that this craft syringe can be used, I found very little in the way that I was hoping I would find. So I just decided why not make one at least using showing the few ways that I use it all the time. Um, I know there are other tools that work in place of this, a pipette, I've never mastered the use of a pipette. I always get water in places I don't want it. I get too much water in places that I don't want it. And so the syringe, to me, the best part about this is being able to put very small amounts of water in very small places exactly how much you want. And that's what I love about it. So let me just show you some of the very basic uses that I have found that have been more helpful than I even ever thought. It's just, I get giddy about it when I think about my craft syringe. <laughs> okay, the first thing is thinning this particular uh, white ink, bleed proof white. Calligraphers are well acquainted with this ink and the majority of us open the lid to find it all gobbledygook, especially if we have not used it in a while. So I just grab a little bit of water and I just put in a couple drops and then I use the needle for my stir stick. That's a bonus. Don't have to get another tool messed up. And then after I get the consistency that I want, then I just immediately clean the needle and I draw some water up in there and swoosh it around. That, that way it is clean and ready for the next use. However, I must admit, I usually have several syringes on my desk at any given time. Okay, and just like with the white, you can thin any ink that has gotten too thick, especially those of us who are practicing or working on a project and we have our cap off our ink and or the paint or the gouache ink that we've created and it starts to get thick. I do not need to thin this, but it is just as easy to do as the white. We pull up some clean water, drop a couple drops at a time, swish around, get the right consistency, and then you're ready to dip your pen or your brush. Okay, those are the two simplest things. Now, I'm gonna do a couple things here just to prep. This is one of my favorite things to do. I love using it to drop water on my paints. And especially my paint pans that have much smaller um, spaces to drop this water without dropping it in other areas. Oh my gosh, only the paints I want to use. I'm doing a fall leaves wreath a little bit later and so I'm going to prep my paint pan with some of the colors that I'll be using. All right, and then I'm just going to let that sit. And then as you know, these Calero paints, we need to put water on there and let them sit for a few minutes before we brush them up to get our paint or our ink, however we're gonna use them. And then, oh, my other favorite thing is when I'm creating inks for my next pen project. This is my little cup that I put some ink in and that works great, but I wanted to show you a little bit better here. So I'm just gonna mix some gouache. Okay, before I do that though, I have to give a shout out to Reggie Azell. I've taken several of his classes now and he has made me a believer in this combination for ink and I absolutely love practicing with it, especially. It has a beautiful blue tint to it. It is Payne's Gray by Winsor & Newton watercolor paint. 
and this is what I have in my little container here and it really does have this beautiful gunmetal blue soldier blue color to it uh, Williamsburg blue and it's just fabulous if you've never tried it I am late to this party gang so there's so many things I've learned in the last couple of years that many people have already known about but to me it's like being that goldfish in the goldfish bowl you know and just excited every few minutes at the new thing okay so we're going to take a little bit of gouache and put it in this tray palette tray and then here is where this water just comes in so handy i'm just going to add a little bit this isn't so bad because it's a fairly large area that i'm adding this water to but especially on those paint pans or a a narrow opening something where you just want to drop a tiny amount of water that needle is perfect and I'm getting ready to show you one of my absolute favorite things to use the name the needle for okay I'm just gonna let that sit for a minute where is my there there's my paint brush holder okay so my favorite thing because Filling ink cartridges is a very messy chore to me, and anything that I can do to cut down on mess, I really like. So I do not have an empty cartridge to show you, and although I almost uh, dumped a red cartridge of ink, I decided not to do it for this video because I can illustrate how to use this needle well enough without actually doing it. So here's my parallel pen. Here's my cartridge. This would be empty or fairly empty, right? And you just pull that out. And I'm just going to set this aside and work with this red cartridge for right now. And then you have your ink cartridge here. So once you've used this ink cartridge, there is going to be, this is punctured right here. And this is a flap that works on a hinge and flaps open and closed. So what I would first do is draw up a bunch of water and I would put the needle down, fit it through the flap into as far down into the cartridge as I could go. And I would squirt that water in there with some force and help to clean up the cartridge itself. And then I would empty the dirty red ink water and I would fill with some more clean water. And then I would use the needle and I would um, take in and suck up the dirty red water, right? Pull it out of the cartridge. And I would do that back and forth with the needle several times until I have a fairly clean, empty cartridge. And then I would find the ink that I want to use. In this case, I just did a, just filled an ink cartridge with this Pelican 4001 turquoise. It's beautiful. And you just uncap your ink. You stick your needle in, you draw up ink, and then these fill up fairly quickly. You stick that needle down inside that flap and you fill it up until you're almost to the top where the hinge flap is. And that's all you need to do. And at that point, you insert your cartridge back up into your ink barrel, tighten it down, put the barrel back on, and there you have a refilled ink cartridge with the ink of your choice. That, my friends, is one of the best ways to use that needle, that craft needle. Okay, so very quickly, we're just going to go back and see what we have with these. Um, I'm going to just grab a B. Yeah, we're just going to do this is a little this is this ink is a little thin. I might have just used a little too much water. So my recommendation on that is to use less water as you go. And then if you need to add more, that's easier than having to add more paint. And I'm usually better at that, but oops. Okay, so I'm just gonna see if I can. Oh yeah, not too bad, a little thin. A little thin, but not too bad. 
but mixing that color it's just been a game changer for me. I am not near as afraid to mix my own colors for inks because I have a super easy way to do it now. And I'm also a new best friend of this B series nib. I have not used them hardly at all and I've just started using them and they're, they're one of my new favorites. Okay, I'm gonna move this out of the way and then we're gonna go and see how we're doing with our Calero. Thank you, Angie, for uh, telling me how to pronounce that correctly. I have both the Fine Tech and the Calero, and they're both just so wonderful. I just, they're so fun. We like our bling and our shimmery stuff, don't we? Okay, so let's see. I don't know how well that shows up. But, oh yeah. All right. Well, you guys, that pretty much covers my favorite things. Thinning thick ink, dropping water into paint pans exactly where you want it, and refilling cartridges. So, there you have it. If you don't have any of these, they are very inexpensive. I got mine on Amazon. They were in a 10 pack and I am using four or five of them at any given time on my, on my desk. So, all right, you guys, thanks for joining me. Talk to you later. Bye.